Hello, my chess friends. Uh, we are making a video now for our novices friends. And I know it's a bit like weird looking type of um, move with the pawn, but actually it is a very legal, very valid, and you're going to be using it quite often, I'd say. Especially if you're doing blitzes like uh, tens of blitzes every day or bullets, you're definitely going to be playing this. Okay, this, this is called the en passant, uh, coming from the French and means in passing. It's a, it's a special way for you to capture a pawn. What we need to understand is white pawn, in order to capture a black pawn en passant, the white pawn has to be on the fifth horizontal line. And the black pawn will have to be on the fourth horizontal line, the fourth rank. Okay. Now, the precondition, or, or how do I say, it? the condition <clears throat> for you to capture would be for black, for instance, if they were to play from a7, the starting square, for the pawn, for that particular pawn is a7 now, if they were to advance to a5, then the white pawn on b5 can capture the black pawn, which is on a5, mind you, behind them as if they were on a6, but they're not. So that's one extra way for you to capture a pawn, apart from the very normal diagonally forwards. This is also normal, maybe it's not as often being uh, met as the normal way to take a pawn. So let me just make a move now. White played c2 to c4. And now, if you're playing with the black pieces, the black pawn can move on c3 from d4, capturing the white pawn that had just moved from c2 to c4. You could just take it. Now, king moves itself to try to stop this pawn from promoting. Obviously, you got to be into the square, so you got to catch up with that pawn. We're going to make another video about the a promotion square. That's an important condition for you to be mindful of. Now, last move that black played was h7 to h5. What does the white pawn do? From g4, they move on to, to the h6 and capture that pawn. This one here, a7 to a5, and now b5 moves on a6 as if it were there. Well, well, it's not, obviously, but that's another detail for you guys to keep in mind. You can capture, though, exactly when it happened you can't delay it and say i'm going to take it on the next turn you ought to take it now or you won't take it at all so now if you choose to move the king just give an example or whatever you want to do um <clears throat> you can't capture ampersand the next turn you either take it now or you won't take it later okay and obviously now white is going with, is going to win because the black king simply will not be able to stopping this guy from promoting Okay, let's move to the next exercise here. Now, um, black played the pawn to b4. You don't necessarily want to take. You may just very well go forwards. And although it looks like it's an ampersand condition for the black pawn to capture, you can't take the a4 pawn because the a4 pawn arrived there from a3 to a4, not from a2. Remember, the condition would say you've got to start to move that pawn from the starting line two steps forwards right next to your opponent's pawn. And they are able to take yours. Otherwise, no. If it's from a3 to a4, black can't take ampersand. Just trying to explain uh, as clearly as we can. What about this one, h2 to h4? Can the black pawn take on h3 now? Yes, they can because the pawn moved from h2 over to h4. So now you can definitely... You Take ampassant. Absolutely, you can. Yes. We're going to be moving to another exercise now here. What do you think? Can the black pawn on e4 capture on f3? Of course they can, because the white pawn moved from f2 over to f4. And now the black pawn on e4 is absolutely able to go behind and capture that pawn in passing. Ampassant. Okay, you can definitely play it. And you've just taken a pawn, and whilst the white king would be busy to capturing, you've got the necessary tempos to remove the white pawn, and then advance, 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 get a brand new queen, and then you deliver the checkmate, as we've explained uh, in our previous videos. Look at this very interesting position. Now, black tried desperately to stop this bishop, which, by the way, is incredibly strong. Now, it's um, one of those rare and satisfactory moments in which you actually deliver checkmate i don't know it never happened to me i don't know if it ever uh, happened to you or if it will ever happen because it's one of those situations in which you make an ampersand capture and you do deliver checkmate crazy now the pawn on e5 takes on f6 because black played from f5 f7 to f5 
Now you move, clearing the way for the bishop and deliver checkmate. King can't take. This is defended by rook and pawn. Can't move. Just check and check everywhere. So checkmate by playing en passant, a very rare occurrence indeed. Next one here. Pretty much the same. White played f2 to f4. You've got a pawn on e4. Taking en passant now, going from behind uh, the pawn now and clearing the way for the queen. If, and white is lost here. Black is winning. Let's say they go g1. You're going to play queen here to g3, threatening checkmate on g2. That's really not too much they can do. Rook b2 is not going to save them because you're going to play then. Uh, rook to c1 and game over. Okay, stuff. Let's move on to the next exercise here. Again, remember, Ampassant, very important. You know, very important. Now, f5 had been played. You already got a pawn here. You go behind them like this, clearing the way very nicely for the white queen to deliver a very deadly attack. Even if the queen, uh, even if they were captured, you're still going to be attacking ferociously. And it's going to be incredibly difficult for black to uh, defend against this. They really, they really can't do too much. <clears throat> and this one here, let's see. What do we play? Can we take Ampassant? No, we cannot with black. Because the white pawn didn't move from a2 to a4, but from a3 to a4. So we can't take Ampassant. But good news is, you're going to be moving forwards. And if you remember, guys, the promotion square rule, which says... If your opponent's king can step into the square, your pawn will be promoted. And as you can see, after you advance to g6, the king does not have the necessary time to catch up with pawn. Shall we try another one? Let's see, what do we play in this position with black here? Well, let me look at this one. If I am to advance the pawn, that would be my square. And why king can't really stop me? I am going to promote and get myself a queen. And obviously I'm going to win. And another exercise of mine. Chess friends, we've got a passer going for the queen. And let's see, a black tries to stop the pawn from moving forwards. But you know something? We got an excellent opportunity now to trade off that black knight. Thus clearing the way for the pawn to advance and promote. Let's just remove the black knight and whatever. You know, they will take probably, but that's to no avail, really, because your queen only needs two steps, two tempos, and you're going to get yourself a queen. So, guys, I hope that was more explanatory. I did do an old video on the ampersand. Maybe this one added to the previous video will be helping uh, our novice beginner and novices friends to understand the ampersand. Um, you may have a surprise every now and then someone to say, oh, that's an illegal move. It's not. It's very legal. It's very valid. Okay? So en passant, in passing, wonderful way for you to take uh, a pawn prisoner in this very interesting fashion. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon with uh, more instructive chess videos.